Hi everyone, welcome to another video from my channel. Let's talk about what's organic fertilizer. It is a fertilizer made using scrap food or natural material fermented for a short period and utilized as an economical and more fruitful resort of fertilizer to your plants which you can easily DIY at your own home and no money spending is involved. It's just a matter of taking small pieces of scrap food or mineral powders and fermenting them in a bottle. It's that easy, but I'll detail the important factors first. Organic fertilizer can be used via a sprayer as usual along on any parts of plant whether the leaves, stems or only the roots. However, my liking or resort to organic fertilizer came not from being economical but because of the extreme size and quality increase of the produced groups and the very less to no mineral buildups the organic fertilizer has on the media. What are these materials you can use to make organic fertilizer. As examples, they are vegetable or fruit peels, powdered shells of eggs, oysters, bone and skin of fish, coffee grounds, waters of rice or grain washes, powdered tree bark and various powdered minerals. Namely, eggshells, coffee grounds, potato peels, avocado pits, cinnamon powder, rice water are some of which can release their nutrients to water when degrading. Therefore, these materials can be easily used in organic fertilizer mix. How are these organic materials chosen? These organic fertilizers can vary according to the nutrition components of each item used your need from the fertilizer, whether it's the plant's rooting, growth or flowering or it may be a balanced fertilizer you are looking for and especially the ease or availability or the liking of the maker. It is utmost important to be aware of its abilities and toxicities before choosing to add a scrap material in a fertilizer because you cannot add something to a fertilizer on a whim without knowing how each component would react with its microbial activity and others in the fertilizer to be safe for them to be used on your plants. Therefore, a little bit of background knowledge and research is a must before carrying out this procedure on your own at home. Any degrading material will also have exchanges of gas. Therefore, make sure the container of the respective fertilizer allows that exchange to take place easily by lightly tightening the cap on your bottle and only allowing that gas or air exchange and no pests like mosquitoes to lay eggs inside. We cannot make any seaweed or fish emulsion fertilizer at home since they require a thorough antiseptic and filtration systems to be okay for human handling. A very simple but effective organic fertilizer is a mix of rice water, banana peels, potato peels, eggshells and coffee grounds. I'm not gonna go into it but you should check the nutritional factors of these food items and educate yourselves of what it gives the plants. If you want to try this simple recipe, as any novice can try this as a starter fertilizer. Since all food scraps are wasting material, the order can be quite overwhelming. Therefore, if overly sensitive to certain smells, you may not want to choose an organic fertilizer for regular use. But you can spray it way early in the morning to avoid unwelcoming smells or the notice of your family. 
people who already use fish emulsion knows this to be unbearably true. I have used the fish and seaweed extracts of Neptune harvest and it's been a ride I'll tell you. And anything seaweed or fish is diluted in a very small quantity and you can mix it with your own NPK fertilizer or spray it separately if you have time on your hands. However, mixing all together is not found to be a bad thing on plants, but it's just the preference of each person to use these fertilizers separately. And you do not need Epsom salts on your plants if you use any fish or seaweed fertilizer since the magnesium need is already included in them. Due to that same fast degrading factor, the nutritional abilities may not be retained in your potting media for too long, especially in high humidity conditions. Therefore, an organic fertilizer should be sprayed every four to five days, but again, this varies on the person's needs or likes. Also, all these organic fertilizers you make at home should be utilized in a very short period of time, relatively between two to three months due to being very natural with no additives or preservatives in them. But there's a trick to keep this going beyond that time period if you keep adding the same scrap items to the fertilizer and strengthening it. There is no quantity or ratio which this should be mixed with water. If you are using for the first time, do tread lightly. My ratio is a cup per liter of rain or tap water. Hoyas or their roots have no problem adapting to organic fertilizers without a dieback. But some orchids like Phalaenopsis may need a whole new root system when getting used to organic fertilizer due to being already used of synthetic fertilizers in nurseries. If you do not have time in your hands to keep adding or remaking the fertilizer to keep up with your own plant's consumption, you may buy one and try it. But whoever can keep a compost going at home can easily do this too. Seaweed or fish bone or any fish emulsion are to be sprayed monthly or every two months due to the high hormone quantities in them. As I like to keep things easy and simple, the less maintenance of media and less flushing and getting more non-toxic fruits or flowers out of a plant is the best I can expect from natural material which also do not harm humans. I'm not going to give you a recipe of sorts since most of these recipes are not mine but have been extracted from the internet. And I only keep changing their components as per my needs. As an example, I may add more banana peels to my fertilizer when I need more flowering since it provides exuberant amounts of potassium. Therefore, I urge you to look around for an organic recipe or come up with your own recipe or try the simple recipe I have mentioned earlier if you want to try this on your own. You can change ingredients as per your needs as you go along the way. And it is very convenient, more productive and easy on your purse. What more can you ask for? Thank you everybody and do not worry, I will go in depth on the usages of Epsom salts, seaweed with the macro and micro elements of a fertilizer in coming videos. See you again in another video. Thank you all for watching my videos and giving me compliments and liking my videos. Have a great day. Bye.